Hey guys, this is Ben Schwartz tapping into the zone and I'd like to talk a little about gambling addiction. You could apply this topic to any kind of addiction really and I'll get into other aspects of addiction of you know different substances, food addictions and all of these things. But right now I just want to focus on gambling addiction because coincidentally I've had two of my clients dealing with this issue um, within a week's time, which was kind of interesting. And so we addressed it in about the same way for each of them, using EFT in this case, uh, EFT, also known as tapping, which is a mind-body technique for releasing trauma. And um, so you wouldn't necessarily think of trauma and addiction being related, but they really can be very much related. And I'd like to explain a little about my way of working with it because it's been quite effective to, to approach it in this way and I've been really happy with how it's been going. Um, surprisingly easy, actually, um, sometimes. And so I'd like to offer some ideas about that so that you can have a better understanding of it. So with gambling addiction, what I typically hear from people, and we have a casino, uh, a casino right here in town that came in uh, about six years ago or something, um, and attracts a lot of people from all over the Bay Area. Uh, no judgment against gambling, by the way. I know that people can enjoy it in a, in a way that's not harmful. I've messed around a little bit with some gambling and um, I know people that are professional poker players that have done very well and I've actually done some coaching with, with professional poker players. I have no judgment about gambling, but there is a very dark side to gambling and it is highly addictive for many people. And when you look at the scene in a typical casino, especially the aspect of full immersion into this sensory world of slot machines, bright lights, cheap drinks being offered to you, uh, the whole environment uh, of freedom from your regular, normal, stressful life. What tends to happen for people in a certain state of vulnerability where maybe they've gone through some majorly stressful thing in their life or they're in the midst of a lot of pressure and stress and they leave their normal environment and go into this completely different reality in the casino where you are fed with all the sensory stimulation and the occasional reward of winning or getting you know a bonus where you suddenly get you know a bunch more games um, suddenly at your disposal and when you win you have all this extra sensory reward you know pumping up your dopamine the bells the lights the clink of the coins dropping you know, the siren going off, everybody coming around and giving you praise and recognition and admiration, and suddenly you get a bunch of money, and that reinforces this conditioning. Uh, it's a very compelling thing, and it can get people very hooked in to this place where they're um, now unconsciously um, subject to the temptation to seek more of this and under stress that that switch will get flipped sometimes and there's just that instant desire for that gratification and you just drive over to the casino and get lost again in this unconscious haze of this experience um, and then walk away usually with terrible regrets when you lose large amounts of money and realize that winning is is the the rare experience and losing is the usual outcome um, and people get ruined in this way sometimes you see people who are on their last dollar and they're still finding ways to get in there 
and um, getting in deep debt. Uh, it's really quite a sinister experience for a lot of people. So how do you work with that? The way is really not that complicated. There's two things I come to in my tapping um, process with something like gambling in this way. One is to have you visualize your most recent or a recent experience of being there and the circumstances around it, what, what you were escaping from in your life and what it was like to sit down in front of that machine or whatever and pull the lever, push the button and the sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste of the alcohol, the cigarette smoke, the people around you, um, the waitress, all of the experience, you bring it to mind, you let yourself feel the energy of that. For some people, the energy feels good. For others, when they, vis they visualize that and they feel that, there's a certain tension in it, a certain kind of stress in it, but it's also feeding something that's compelling, that keeps them engaged in, in wanting more or expecting more. But whatever it is, positive or negative, you just allow yourself to feel that and as you're tapping, you stay focused on that. You use your words and phrases to describe all the, the aspects of that experience with no judgment, just what it feels like, what it's like, and the intensity of it. So it might be, even though I feel the total freedom and escape from my life as I sit here with all of these bright lights and sounds, watching the numbers come up, drinking my beer, feeling the excitement of winning more money and I feel like I'm floating like I'm completely a million miles away from my life I deeply and completely accept myself sitting in front of the machine pushing that button watching the numbers that incredible feeling of winning money all the sounds, the sights, the lights, the bells, all the recognition when I win, that energy in my chest, that excitement of winning money in the casino. I'll take a deep breath. Now then what do you do? you go back to visualizing that experience and you compare. The first time you visualize it, you would rate how intense, how strong is this, is this feeling as I think about this? How connected am I to this experience? How clear in my mind? How clear visually can I, can I see it in my mind? How much can I feel it? Then after that tapping round, you do that again. Focus on it. Can I see it? Can I feel it? How much? sometimes it's gone it, all, all the intensity goes out of it it might be hard to visualize it might be neutral in terms of any any feelings positive or negative that's a good thing that's what we want and that's a typical result sometimes it goes down incrementally and we do some more tapping what's there now uh, I just remember the feeling of um, pushing the button and that reward of hearing the coins falling. Okay, we tap about that, describe that, take a breath. Okay, focus on that. How is it now? Now it feels really distant. That's the outcome you want. When it feels really distant, really faded, really neutral, no emotional triggering of positive or negative, that's what we like. Now the second thing to go to and that often is also very important to include is what's the first time that you remember experiencing this because those first times are the most impactful usually the most influential and so you think about the first time that you went to the casino or the first time that you won a bunch of money um, and maybe it was years ago but those experiences usually stick with you more 
tap about that experience specifically tapping as you describe all the nuances and the moment by moment experience of that memory as you feel it now and that also can diminish the connection to the memory and shift the whole pattern of, of desire and addictiveness around that um, that place that activity and it just it works really well for most people so just want to leave you with that EFT is amazing for so many things and gambling addiction is just another one of those things that it often works great with all right so stay tuned I'll come back and talk about other ways that you can use this for uh, addiction and many other things. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.